All right, we got a 2020 Explorer, and this is the front support inside the 10R60, and it's got the 2.3 liter EcoBoost in it. And you see this is like a, a type of return spring right here that goes in the front of this support, and it's supposed to hold pressure on the lower unit that's underneath it. And this goes in here, and then as you press down, let me pull it out so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. See, there's a channel right there. There's a channel. There's a channel right here that a snap ring has to sit in, right where my finger's at. I'm trying to zoom in, but I, it's hard for me to do that. It sits right here on the edge. <clears throat> this sits down inside there and then it presses down and then this there's a snap ring right here in the front of the trans and it will sit inside that the snap ring will sit inside that it'll collapse and it will hold that down in place well what ends up happening on the 10r 60s is you get this real bad 7-6 downshift and what ends up to be in the issue is this snap ring right here starts to come unseated from this front support and it allows the spring to unseat and the spring ends up in the top of this or underneath underneath the assembly right here and whenever the trans tech pulled it apart it was just kind of sitting in here it wasn't even in the housing anymore just sitting right there and it's supposed to be snapped into this front support so what is it is it fluid is it fluid pressure Kev, is it fluid pressure has to build up so much because that unit's not together anymore that it has to overcome that to do that 7-6 downshift and that's why it's real hard and real abrupt because that spring has to hold all that shit together to, to operate properly? What's the reason for the hard downshift? Because that's not in the unit no more, right? The piston's probably coming out too far. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what it is. The piston's down underneath this. Yeah. This, this part of this moves. This is the piston here. Yeah, I see. So it's going to... And without that being in there and held in by that spring... It doesn't pull the piston back, so it drags the clutches. Dra and then you get that boom, that 7-6 yeah. downshift. Real. Not, it, that returns it. Once you take the fluid pressure off, it pushes the piston off. Yeah. And this one was so bad that when he pulled it all, drained all the fluid and stuff, it was like tar coming out of here. And it's, it just seems like the whole entire assembly is just, it's really blued. Fucking black. Oh yeah, that's trashed. They're cooked. Yeah, that's, it's trashed. Well, this is, uh... Where's that TSB at? There it is. Here it is right here. It's uh, Technical Service Bulletin 20-2337, 10R60 automatic transmission, harsh 7.6 gear shift, built on or before 19 May 2020. And this, we have another one coming in as well. I went and test drove and I was able to verify. And you can see my previous video on why the two technical service bulletins I think should be put together because of my own personal reasons to end up coming up with the actual fault, which is that snap ring that's coming apart from that front A pump assembly or front A, sec a section assembly. And it's that snap ring comes off and unseats from the return spring. The return spring, right? What we're calling it? Return spring assembly here so that piston can actually move uh, like it's supposed to appropriately. But that's what it is spring comes out of this front support and ends up just sitting down in here like this and this it's smoked trans is junk well the internals are he's gonna have to tear it down as far as he possibly can to see everything that needs to be replaced and gone through they don't want you to do that it's service bullets and all he wants you to do the front housing. yeah it's not a full overhaul well I'm, I know it says to do the front housing, but you know when you get in this far and you see other shit being smoked, what do you do? Just put it back together? Do the TSB. You just follow the TSB the way it says and let it go? That's what 
what they want you to do. Okay, I guess there's nothing further. I mean, I would think that they would say that something along the lines, if you get in there and you see that it's burned up or whatever, that are you able to submit if you feel like it, or you got to do what they say? I mean, I could probably override it if I want. Yeah. Anyhow, I think the only thing that I would be worried about is when you when you go in here and you pull this out and you see how bad this is, and then you go put it back together, the customer's going to come right back in complaining about something else, you know, 10,000 miles from now. So I guess as a technician, you just have to use your best discretion because according to this here, you only do the front part of the trans where the snap ring and stuff comes apart. You only, you're working with that unit and that's it, even though there's other stuff underneath it that it looks like it's trash. We'll see what happens, but that's that 10R60 harsh 7.6 downshift on the 2020 Explorer and Aviator. That's the reason why. It's because of that snap ring right there. I just wanted to give that to you guys and let the trans tech talk a little bit about it. And He's the man for the job. I don't do a lot of transmission work, um, but I'm starting to get a little bit more and more into it and kind of get hungry on why. And He's teaching me, and we're getting along, and some of it's making sense, some of it's not. It's going to take some time. You know, I'm doing more and more serious stuff. I'm trying to get out of so much of the electrical diagnostic stuff and get more into the, the transmission stuff. I'd love to be able to dig into more transmission stuff. So there it is. That's the 2020 Explorer Harsh 7.6 downshift. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you all. Be blessed.